Hi, I'm Anil and I'm here today to talk about my exclusive signing with Med School and my forthcoming EP release, Losing My Mind. So my first experience in drum and bass really probably um, started uh, early 2000, maybe very, very late, kind of 90s, 99. Every kind of Friday night there was um, sort of random sort of events like Heat and Fever and things like that going on, where we had like DJs like Brocky, uh, Hype, um, all like kind of the old school heads. And I think my favourite DJ back then was like Brocky because he was literally probably one of the darker ones that kind of played uh, sort of locally. Um, yeah, that was probably my first experience in drum and bass. It first started with getting some decks, you know, um, buying them vinyl, and then wanting to kind of look at watching the DJs and wanting to be them and listening to their music they're playing and making feeling like, wow, what an experience it would be for a DJ to play your own music. And uh, I would say that most of my influences come from uh, my family, my mum, listening to all those kind of really wicked tracks from back in the 70s and 80s um, and I think that kind of can come through in my uh, music that I've been making of late with the kind of the organic style. When we had people like Rocky would be a massive DJ influence to me because his style back then was quite dark um, and I liked the sort of the darker stuff then, uh, a lot of attitude and you always had like a really good MC like Dead or anything like that. So John bass wise back then that would be my influence. In May, it was first brought about signing exclusively to med school. Obviously, it was pretty much a done deal. I didn't really need to think too much about it, just because of the affiliation beforehand, the way I've been treated, um, and the way the tracks all uh, go down in the past. So, it was quite an easy decision to make, and a decision that I'm, you know, over the moon about. My first track that I had out with med school uh, was in 2011 on the New Blood series and the track titled Change of Direction. Then skipping on a year I then um, had two tracks out on the Blood Pressure release which was another album. Uh, one track uh, was featuring good friends of mine the Cosa uh, with a track titled Ecstasy Dub and the second track um, featured Hybrid Minds with Grim on the vocals um, and that track was titled Old Times. Skipping on another year, I went on to New Blood 13 um, with a track uh, titled Another Year. Um, and then for a year after that, um, I had a track featured on the 18th anniversary Hospital Records album uh, titled uh, Requiem. If I had to choose from my favourite tracks uh, from the sort of the med school camp, it would most probably have to be Mutated Forms Feels Like. That track at the time really kind of stood quite clear about from what's, what's going on, not just obviously in med school, but certainly I think it's fair to say what's going on in the rest of the, the scene as well. I'd also have to choose um, the track by Eleven Eight, uh, Joe Syntax and Lum, uh, Red Ribbon. I think that's quite an easy choice to make. Uh, I think that track got absolutely canned by pretty much everybody. So recently I played for uh, at the Hospitality um, Summer Barbecue, but that was in the med school room. Uh, it was a fantastic day out. I mean, something that I hadn't really ever kind of done before, kind of raving during the day. Um, and oh my, if he wasn't there, I mean, guy really, to be fair. Not too long ago, we did the Hospitality at Brixton Academy, um, and that was just something else. <laughs> Again, not really ever done anything on that sort of scale other than festivals to an extent and that was just off key. I mean we've got our second instalment at Corsica Studios on the 14th of November. Again that's a med school night. Uh, the last one was something else. Um, we had like sweat dripping off the ceiling. I mean you couldn't have got any more people inside that rain. So with Blue My Team when I recently remixed uh, the track Remember Don't Wrong that first came around with a phone call kind of asking if I'd do it and obviously you know straight away I was pretty honoured to be asked from such a legendary character in the scene um, and the track as well and I'm not just saying it's the actual track when I first actually got sent the album the actual track that track individually stood out for me 
and he will back me up on that. I mean, when I first heard that track, I was again blown away. The vocals on it and just the atmospherics as well. On the 24th of November, I've got my debut release with Med School. Uh, it's titled Losing My Mind. That's a four track uh, release, both available on vinyl as well as digitally. Originally, the process of making those four tracks, it really didn't take too long. It was more of a case, what took really long, sorry, was um, mixing them down, really kind of trying to perfect the sound um, because obviously, you know, it's my first release and I want to, you know, give as best as I can really. The approach to making this EP hasn't really changed too much in terms of what I've done in the past for med school themselves, but I'd like to think that what the listeners will, will, will get is four individual tracks that are very different uh, in their own right. Um, so, you know, it might open up their mind as well to something, you know, they're different. You know, they might listen to Voidrants normally and, and that's the style of music they like, and then all of a sudden, you know, they flick it over to Time Like Mine and it's a completely different vibe and it might just open up their musical experience.